Tippi Hedren is an actress and former fashion model with a career spanning over six decades. She's primarily known for her roles in two Alfred Hitchcock films, The Birds, which earned her a Golden Globe, and Marnie, co-starring Sean Connery. Charlie Chaplin cast her opposite Marlon Brando in what would be his last film, A Countess from Hong Kong. She has made over 40 films between the years 1967 and 2006. She is the mother of actress Melanie Griffith, who shares credit on six of those films. As volunteer international relief coordinator for Food for the Hungry, she has traveled worldwide to set up relief programs following earthquakes, hurricanes, famine, and war. She began a long love affair with wild animals in 1969 while doing a film in Africa. Perhaps her most unique endeavor is being den mother and close friend to 60 plus big cats at the Roar Foundation's Shambhala Preserve in Acton, California. But even more impressive than all of those accolades and charity work is the fact that she is the mother-in-law of Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the lovely Miss Tippi Hedren. Thank you. Oh, this is this is really wonderful to have this this world fest that uh, like minds can get together and improve everything dealing with our environment, the animals, and and all of those wonderful things that need help. Uh, I only have five minutes to talk today, and they said, "Can you talk for five minutes?" I said, "No, no, I need an hour." <laughs> because the the the, um, the issues that I'm dealing with are are uh, complex and um, need a little more time. I've been rescuing the big cat, the lion, tiger, leopard, uh, cougar, uh, all of those since 1971. Uh, and this this issue of them being born in the United States to be sold as pets has not stopped. It is still in full force. It's a huge business. The exotic animal uh, uh, trade is, uh, according to U.S. Fish and Wildlife, on the same par as illegal drugs. It's absolutely frightening. And, uh, you know, you're dealing with an apex predator here. These animals are, they are the ones who, who, are, who do the cleaning up of the sick animals, the old animals, and the the uh, lame animals out in the bush, which is why you never see a lion or a tiger uh, um, going after any of the healthy animals, they go after the sick ones. And, you know, what does this say about good pet? They're an absolute predator that you cannot control. And so many people have been injured and hurt and even killed in the last five, five or so years there's been over 570, um, <laughs> I could get knocked off of this stage here. Um, there's been over 570 people injured and hurt. There are 38 people killed by these lions and tigers who people are purchasing for a pet. And um, you, can, you can look on the internet and buy a, a lion or a tiger. You can go to a swap meet by a lion or a tiger. In California, our laws are quite stringent, so it, it, it's a more difficult here. But there are only nine states that have really, really good, solid laws. There are uh, 17 states have practically no laws at all. It's probably more difficult to get a license for your dog than have a lion or a tiger living in your backyard. Now, this is unconscionable to bring these, to, to breed these animals to be sold in the United States. I have a bill going in Washington right now, and in fact, hopefully, it's going to be introduced uh, next week. But with all the stuff that's going on in in uh, Washington right now, I don't know. I'm not sure whether that will come to fruition. But the the bill is titled, and it tells exactly what what the bill is about: a federal ban on the breeding of the exotic feline for personal possession. Let's leave it to the zoos to do that. Um, the, um, the breeders of these animals will breed the Sumatran tiger to the Bengal tiger to the Siberian tiger. They don't care as long as they get those cubs to sell. It's a huge business. Now that, the, that of course, puts that animal into the form of the zoos call them mutts. 
They don't really look like the Siberian. They don't look like the Bengal. They don't look like the Siberian, uh, the, the Sumatran. So, and um, I hope that you will look our website. It's uh, Shambhala, S-H-A-M-B-A-L-A dot org. And um, uh, when we have a House number and a Senate number, please look into this issue and write to your congressman and your senators and the president. Just bombard them. I've got to get off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> bombard them with, with your, uh, your reasons for uh, this bill coming to fruition. And please come and visit us and, and see these magnificently beautiful animals who should not be pets. And they are beautiful. I love them more than my next breath. But they shouldn't be in people's hands so that um, they can be abused. <laughs>